Does anyone remember Chris Grimm from Castlevania Symphony of the Night? Well, good news. In Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, we have a very similar weapon. And I'm so lucky to be able to get this weapon. As you can see, let, let me just um, do a quick demonstration for you. It's so OP. It can hit tiny monsters like this, yeah? And see, normal slash becomes combo like this. And normally, if you have played um, Symphony of the Night before, you will know that small creature like this, like this poison toad right here, it's so hard to to hit. But with 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 this sword, you can hit pretty much anything regardless of the size. So. The sword itself is called Rawa Buro. Please pardon my pronunciation. I don't know how to pronounce it correctly, but it's OP nevertheless. So, how do you get this? Easy. You need to find a monster called, I believe it's called Killer Barber. Yeah, this guy. You have to find this monster. And this is how it looks. Let me just assume the monster for you. And I came across this guy quite early in the game. And the drop rate of the sword is 4%, as you can see here. So you might have to grind it a little bit, you know, kill a lot of them. But there's an easier way to do this. And I'm going to show you in the next video how to farm rare items, alright? So this video, let's just focus on the sword itself. And the area you can find it is the... Oh god, I don't know how to pronounce it. The end catch Cathedral. And you just go ahead and kill this guy. Just like that. And hopefully you can get the Rawa Buro sword from him. After you've got that is Life in the Wonderland. It makes the game much easier. Well, at least in my opinion. Um, at this point I have played the game for about 5 hours and it's been hell a lot of fun to be honest, but it can get um, a, little bit, a little bit difficult if you are not used to Castlevania series. So this is another way to make the gameplay easier. See? If I were to compare it with normal sword, let me just show you a quick demonstration. And also, yeah, for, for bonus, I've already got this incredible sword from, uh, I, I can't remember the area name, but it's quite cool too. So if you guys want, I can show you in my next video about this sword as well. Just leave a comment if you want any more um, information from this game and I guess that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.